All right, so I'm going to show you how to do, um, to draw the reflections in one of these cans. What these are, if you look at this, here's a pair, and this is the reflection of a pair, okay? If you look over here, this is reflecting whatever is over here. Like you can see the apple. I'm assuming this is the bell pepper that's right there. And then it's reflecting whatever else is in the picture. So I just go through and kind of draw the shapes that I see. So you want to just break it up into what, what it's reflecting. And then you're going to put your details in. All right, there's a lip on this mug. This is the handle, I believe, that's in the back. I'm not really sure what it's reflecting over here, but I can just kind of draw what I see. Then, once you have all that drawn, all the little details of what needs to be shaded, then you'll go in and start shading. I'm going to start shading from the background forward. I'm not going to show you all how to shade the whole thing. Um, I'm just going to shade this little bit over here so you can see what I'm looking for. I want you to look at how I'm holding my pencil, how I'm using my shading tortillion, and also if you have an extra piece of paper or a, um, something you could put up under your arm so that you're not... Uh, smearing pencil all over the place. So there's just a suggestion of a table back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit darker right here with a, a line and then I'm going to come in and go ahead and start shading around my objects. And that's already making the lines disappear. Look at how I'm holding my pencil, and I'm using very short strokes. All right, there's a cast shadow back here. Then I'm going to make darker than everything. Then it gets lighter. So right here is just a little bit lighter than what's below it. the suggestion of a stem right here. Then I'm going to start shading my pear. It's darker on this edge. I like to turn my paper so I can um, reach it better. And then when I shade the bottom of this, it makes the top of this apple show up. Now I'm going to gradually get lighter as I come away from the pear. Notice how I'm still holding my pencil. There's a little bit of a cast shadow going towards the um, bell pepper. Now I'm going to do the 
where the indention is and the, where the stem is. It's a little cylinder. And then if you just shade right around where the indention is, it looks like it's coming out of the center of the top of the apple. So then I'll tell y'all to go around and sharpen up the edges of your objects. Sometimes I draw with my eraser. That means I'm erasing it. So then I'm going to take my shading tortillion and I'm not, I want y'all to pay, pay very close attention to this. I don't take this and rub it all in. I just take this, make my edges a little sharper, wherever I want it to blend out just a little bit more. I do that, but I do not use the shading tortillion a lot. I'm holding it to the side too because you'll find out that this shading tortillion gets dull quickly. Okay. So you can see how I did that, and then you'll continue shading the rest in a similar fashion. Let me finish doing this apple, and then I'll cut y'all loose to do the rest of it. See, I'm using the side of my shading tortillion. If you use the side of it more, then it'll last longer. All right, this needs to be a little darker. Don't be afraid to get really dark where it's dark. The wider range you have of values, the better it's going to look. That meaning four to five values in there would be ideal. Alright, so you would continue going. I'm going to cut you loose to finish the rest of it.